suggested steps from the White House. Democrats are trying their damnedest to remove President Trump from Washington. With Trump in D.C., the liberals have been on edge because he is keeping them accountable. Of course, by now they are starting to realize that Trump isn't leaving until 2024. Trump's mission to serve the American people will continue as long as we the people want him doing that. One liberal just took the hate to the next level. Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez has been arrested. He was arrested protesting President Trump on the sidewalk outside the White House. He, along with around 30 other protesters, was outside of the White House on Tuesday for a rally commemorating the fifth anniversary of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Advertisement, this idiot is a big supporter of immigrant rights in the United States. He has tried his best to make sure laws are passed to basically give all immigrants a free pass. Trump is making that very difficult on him. The U.S. Park Police arrested Congressman Gutierrez. They have jurisdiction around the White House. The degenerate isn't just a Trump hater, he has been arrested for protesting at the White House twice before. Once in 2010 and then next time in 2011. All arrests have been in the same vein, advertisement. He has also been arrested at a Chicago immigration office for protesting deportations of DACA recipients. These people are better known as dreamers. The same values that I inculcated in my daughters, that my wife and I raised them, dreamers are an example and exemplify them. Their dreams are just like my kids' dreams, Gutierrez told reporters shortly before his arrest. This kind of action by the left is definitely preventing them from gaining the majority for a while. The media can bombard us and the vocal minority of the ultra-liberals can try to bully, but they are ultimately the same as Hillary Clinton. They are all losers. This arrest is not his first time and it will not be his last. This man is trying to sabotage the policies of President Donald Trump and he needs to be blocked. This kind of behavior from a United States representative cannot be tolerated. Should Gutierrez be removed from D.C.? This will get Trump re-elected in 2020 look what he just released. Let President Trump do his job. The crooked liberal media is out for blood. The establishment politicians, Republican and Democrat, are trying backstab and undermine his efforts at every turn, yet President Trump keeps fulfilling more promises every day, making America great again and safe again. Today, the whole Trump nation is going crazy after the official Twitter account of Team Trump posted the latest campaign ad for President Donald Trump 2020. It is a great dose reality in a world tainted by the lies and distortions of the CLM, crooked liberal media. The new ad goes through many of the incredible achievements and victories of the American people since Trump took office. Direct from the Trump team, the 30-second campaign ad starts by going through the list of issues President Trump has been facing on a daily basis since taking office starting from the Democrats, which do everything in their power to obstruct the work of the bogus. Next up on the list is the media, which is constantly ranting and throwing dirt on Trump, no matter what move he makes or action he takes. And last but not least, the video mentions career politicians that will do everything in their power to prevent the sitting administration from achieving success. Democrats obstructed the media attacking our president career politicians standing in the way of success President Trump's plan is working 1 million jobs created more Americans working than ever before unemployment lowest since 2001 the stock market all-time record highs the strongest military in decades the president's enemies don't want him to succeed but Americans are saying let President Trump do his job. In you support President Trump please share this now. Thank you and God bless. Supreme Court Judge Retiring, President Trump Planning Huge Replace Supreme Court Judge Retiring, President Trump Planning Huge Replace Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy Considers Retiring Trump Sees Opportunity It seems that President Trump may soon have another opportunity to appoint another judge to the Supreme Court. According to sources close to Justice Anthony Kennedy, the judge thinks about withdrawing from the high court. Kennedy. 80, says that old age has finally caught up with him and that he seriously considers about retiring. 
He was appointed in 1998 by President Ronald Reagan and is currently the oldest justice in the High Court after the death of conservative Judge Antonin Scalia. Even though he was appointed by Reagan, Kennedy is politically impartial and has always been the one to decide Supreme Court tea breakers. After Gorsuch's appointment, the Supreme Court is divided by four conservative and four progressive justices, with Kennedy caught in the middle, always deciding scores stalemates. Should Kennedy decides to withdraw, this will give Trump the opportunity to appoint another conservative justice, thus having five conservative to four liberal justices. Judge Kennedy is close to President Donald Trump with the two of them both having kids who reside in New York. The Supreme Court Justice has invited Ivanka Trump to the High Court to sit in a section usually reserved for family. The president's success in replacing Justice Scalia with a prudent and devoted justice may have affected Kennedy's final decision since he has seen that Trump is capable of choosing people that will be worthy to replace the honorable Supreme Court justices. Let's just hope that Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, 84, will also withdraw in a couple of years. Ginsburg will be smart to do this since she has trouble staying awake during Supreme Court hearings and it is fairly impossible for her to stay at the high court during Trump's tenure. If both Justice Ginsburg and Justice Kennedy withdraw, Donald Trump could appoint one-third of the Supreme Court. If Trump eventually succeeds to appoint another right-leaning judge to the high court, this will slope the balance of the court to six conservative and three liberal justices. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. H slash T, cons Patriot. Exposed. 31 senators plot to double cross this country and America is in a state of chaos. Details. The American industrial laborer ought to be regarded. Their legislature ought to regard them. The last thing the legislature ought to do is take away employments from dedicated natives and offer them to those outside this nation, isn't that so? Haven't we been shouting about this for a considerable length of time? Indeed, wake up, America. It's as yet incident and it's much more appalling than you may suspect. President Donald Trump is doing all that he can to enhance our economy. This incorporates a current ExxonMobil bargain that will acquire another $20 billion and the endless ways he will cut expenses. What's more, discussing cutting pointless fat from the administration, what about that proposed 50% slicing of the government workforce? I know I cheered when I saw that. Notwithstanding it all, no doubt 31 senators, both Republican and Democrat, have kept on conflicting with the manual American Open. By means of Briet Bart. 31 Democrats and Republican senators are asking the Department of Homeland Security to maximize the use of blue-collar outsourcing visas so U.S. companies can import more foreign workers instead of recruiting, training and paying unskilled U.S. workers. Definitely, you read that right. Basically, this is a purposeful push to import work as opposed to offering occupations to Americans conceived in this nation. Incompetent work is untalented work. There's no reason at all why we need to go over the fringe. It just continues deteriorating for our industrial companions. The request to Department of Homeland Security John Kelly also comes as a claimed shortage of H2B is prompted recruiters to find, hire, train and retain some of the millions of young underemployed men and women who could fill the many low-status seasonal jobs in landscaping, golf course maintenance, cleanup in restaurants, seafood processing and hotel cleaning which are often allocated to H-2B contract workers. As of now, recruitment consultants help employers hire alternative workers from American exchange schools and Puerto Rico, and they're further cautioning businesses to raise pay rates or lose workers. Just to have them supplanted with outside work. Obviously, we as a whole need to be repaid well for our endeavors. Yet, when the administration keeps on hamstringing us with an end goal to discover shoddy work, we need to venture in and say a single word, stop. Enlist, prepare, and contract from inside first. In the event that despite everything you require help, look somewhere else, however not sometime recently. Basic. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading. H.
T. Briet Bar. George W. Bush breaks silence with stunning confession about President Trump. Since taking office Trump's administration faced many challenges that were not easy at all. This administration is probably the best one since God knows when and this is why the liberals and the mainstream media hate on them. To be sincere they are indeed doing stuff that seems to be effective for the American people. This is why the liberals are running out of lies and are hard on Trump. Their only goal is to push Trump's limits until he explodes and want to get him in some legal trouble. As World Politicus reports, the people do trust Trump and ignore the media's lies. But according to them the latest person who came out talking about this successful administration is George Bush. Since leaving office Bush stayed out of politics and was pretty silent. But not for long apparently. The man decided to go on NBC to talk about to Matt Lauer about President Trump. Because he stayed silent for so long we had no idea what was he thinking. Well, now he was not scared to speak his mind and to stand behind Trump's back for once. World Politicus quotes him, When I was president, you, the major networks, mattered a lot more, because there were, like, three of you. And now there are all kinds of information being bombarded out. People can say things anonymously, and it is just a different world. It is more than obvious how much he hates the way Trump is treated. No matter what happens, Trump will continue to do wonders for this nation. Loved him or hate him, he is the best thing that ever happened. He knows the truth, we his supporters know the truth which is why he ignores the comments that don't matter.